What's up guys, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. So today I've got my hands on one of the most recent smartphones released by Xiaomi. This is the Mi A2 Lite. Now this smartphone comes with Android version 8 Oreo stock version, a large battery and a 5.84 inch Full HD Plus screen. And what's incredible about this smartphone is you can pick it up right now for 169 US dollars or 134 pounds in the UK. So today we will find out how good this smartphone really is. So this is everything you get in the box beginning with a user manual, SIM eject tool, a micro USB charging cable, a European USB power brick. This also comes with a silicon case and it's a clear black silicon case. And last but not least, the smartphone itself. So here it is guys in my hands, the Mi A2 Lite. I will put the specs on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna quickly test out the silicon case. So this is what the silicon case looks like. The smartphone still feels nice and slim and it gives you a lot more grip and you do have some bumpers on the edges to give you a bit more protection. So we have a 5.84 inch IPS LCD screen with 432 pixels per inch. So quite a high pixel count for a budget device and you do have a 19 by nine aspect ratio with a resolution of 2280 by 1080. And I'm also happy to say that there is a 2.5D curved scratch resistant glass. So the display itself looks great. You've got a full HD plus screen, which is nice and bright with vivid colors, great contrasts, and the viewing angles are also not bad. Now you do have the Snapdragon 625 CPU with three gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage. There is also a micro SD card slot, which allows you to expand to a further 256 gigabytes. Now you have dual cameras on the back, 12 megapixels and five megapixels. And on the front, you have a five megapixel selfie camera on the notch. So the notch itself doesn't look bad at all. It's a rather smaller notch than what we've seen on other smartphones. Now this phone also supports 4G. It's factory unlocked with Bluetooth 4.2 and quite a large 4,000 milliamp battery. So this smartphone is made from a metal frame going all the way around and a plastic back. You also have a plastic strip on the top and the bottom of the smartphone. Now this phone weighs 178 grams and is only 8.8 .8 millimeters thin. Now on the front you have your 5 megapixel selfie camera and for navigation you have your usual 3 on screen touch buttons, back home and menu. Now the fingerprint sensor is located on the back and it's easy to reach and it does unlock the smartphone fast and accurately every single time. Now at the bottom of the phone you have a microphone, a micro USB charging port and a single speaker. If we keep going, on the right hand side we have a volume rocker and a power button and both of these buttons are made from plastic and they don't wobble about and they feel pretty good to the touch. Now at the top of the smartphone, I'm happy to see we have the 3.5 mil audio jack, but we also have an infrared port, which is quite common in most Xiaomi smartphones. So with this port, you'll be able to control your television um, and other infrared devices. Now on the other side, we have a dual SIM card tray, which can take two nano SIM cards at the same time, but you can also insert a micro SD card up to 256 gigabytes. And it's great to see that you can install two nano SIM cards and a micro SD card at the same time. So the smartphone is very well made. I love the design. Even though it's made from plastic, it doesn't feel cheap at all. This is a budget handset under $200, but you wouldn't be able to tell if you had this in your hands. So Xiaomi have done a great job in the build quality of this smartphone. Let's go ahead and see how this device handles full HD streaming on YouTube. So as you can see, you can stream a maximum of 1080p on YouTube. Disorder. I got a touch of prostate cancer. She didn't touch my ass one time. Boy. There's no reason to believe that anything about us can't be changed. Pain can be destroyed. Find the wolf. You'll find your no. killer. We're denying those involvement in the killing of Sean Hamburger. He's looking for a driver. You interested? I am not a medical doctor. I'm a musician. I'm about to embark on a concert. Moving on now to the gaming test.
So coming to the cameras, on the back we have a dual camera setup, 12 megapixels with an f2.2 aperture and a secondary 5 megapixel camera. And on the front we know that there is a single 5 megapixel selfie camera. Now let's check out a few camera samples. So now we're going to check out the results for some various tests including DRM, Wi-Fi and benchmarks. So here is my top performing smartphone chart of 2018 showing you all the latest smartphones and seeing how they compare with each other. So all phones have been ranked by Antutu scores and as you can see the Xiaomi A2 Lite has taken position 31 on this chart. You can view the full versions of all my charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. So there you have it guys, that was the new Xiaomi A2 Lite. Now Xiaomi has proved to be very good at making budget smartphones and their budget smartphone is always more or less flagship quality, offering super value for money and we saw this in previous versions of Xiaomi's budget handsets such as the 4X, 5X and a few others. Well this time Xiaomi has outdone themselves. This smartphone, the Xiaomi A2 Lite, is one of the best performing budget smartphones you can buy right now for under $200. I can put my iPhone and Samsung phone in the drawer and make this my daily driver. In fact I have been using this with my SIM card for the last few days. And the best thing about this smartphone is you have stock Android 8.1 Oreo, which means you get all the updates from Google first, but not only that, the stock Android feels so fast and smooth in operation, it actually performs better than my one year old Samsung Galaxy S8 which has now started to slow down on me due to the Samsung UI which I'm not very fond of anymore. So coming back to the Mi A2 Lite, you have pure Android with no bloatware and the experience is superb. You can easily play PUBG on medium settings along with the latest Asphalt 9 and gaming is smooth like butter. Another thing I like is the speaker is nice and loud and music and videos sound awesome on this handset. Now the camera, whilst not flagship quality, is still very good. You can take some great photos and videos with this camera, however as expected low light shots are not great but easily forgiven for the price. And if you want to see a full camera test then hit the like button to let me know and I will get one done for you guys ASAP. Bottom line, for the price this offers unbeatable value and quality. I don't know how Xiaomi does it. How can they offer such a device for that price. Well just do what I did, grab this deal with two hands as this smartphone is currently selling for a ridiculous 169 US dollars and it can easily sell for 300 dollars and still be worth every penny. And with that being said I will leave the links in the description so you guys can check this amazing device out and if you like it you can of course go ahead and pick one up for yourself. Meanwhile thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one guys.